I got a PhD in social welfare a bunch of years ago <laughs> at Columbia. I worked in the Clinton administration and in the Obama administration. We have issues of economic inequality, of power, of discrimination, criminal justice abuse. There's a lot of demand for people to help work on these, on these social problems. Social work graduates, we need you now more than ever. I've been doing child welfare policy at the Department of Health and Human Services for the Children's Bureau for seven years. The School of Social Work and my work with my field placement helped with just the concrete skills that I've needed to work with many people in other disciplines as well, um, which is a key part of my job. Because I did the policy concentration, I took many classes in SEPA, and so I was able to meet a great group of people. And um, so I was able to set up a wonderful professional network um, through my experience in the program. After I graduated from Columbia, I first worked at the Department of Health and Human Services on the Healthy Marriage and Responsible Fatherhood Initiative. Uh, I was a Presidential Management Fellow, so I entered the federal government through that program. I did a rotation over at the Department of Defense on programs for military families and ended up moving over there full time after my fellowship was finished. I work now at the Department of Defense in the Family Advocacy Program, which is the program that prevents and responds to child abuse and neglect and domestic violence in military families. I do feel that the policy track gave me the skill set that I need, needed uh, to do the work that I do right now. If you're interested in social work and policy, you can be anywhere. Um, you know, I have had the great fortune as well to work in the federal government, state government, and in city government. And I would often say that, like, I've my client has been an entire city agency, Department of Juvenile Justice. It's been hundreds of programs in New York City. It's been an entire school building. It's been individual kids, families, you know. So my client has shifted from the macro to the micro in over and over again. And I, I can do that. We're just more critically minded, you know, just really assessing things for the bottom line. Very good at honing in on an objective and then attempting to develop a tool that helps us get there. What we need in public policy is people that are better listeners, you know, because then you can really understand the problem for what it is, not what you think it is, not what you think it ought to be, but the problem for what it really is. So really take advantage of your first year of practice to become an excellent clinician and, and listen. Um, and then use your second year of practice to get really sharp, really sharp. Get into economics and really let the math take you someplace and go into the research skills and allow the policy classes to take you wherever they're gonna take you because that's gonna help you be the sharpest person in the room if you really take advantage of it. And once you combine those two things, you're unstoppable. It's true. I am currently employed by the Center for the Study of Social Policy. My experience at the Columbia School of Social Work is really informing the work that I'm doing. It's like the simple statistics classes. Currently I'm writing a brief and I needed to find lots of research articles and I was able to really select the strongest ones and really read the articles and look at the data and understanding it in a lot better ways. There are just so many deep problems in our society of precisely the type that policy-oriented social workers can help to solve. So bring me the troops. <laughs> <laughs>